Uh, you, you really shouldn't. This. You don't want to let it actually. <coughs> yes, out. well done. Contain. That was perfect. It was Beautiful. perfect. That was awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Andrew, what's your middle name? Scott. Andrew Scott Reynolds, ladies and gentlemen. What's your middle name? Class. Jacob. <gasps> or oh. Yaakov. <laughs> in the land of the people. What's your middle name? Jeanette. Ooh, I love oh, Jeanette. Jeanette used to be my go-to improv name. Jeanette? Jeanette. Yeah, like Frank really? Langella's my go-to celebrity. Jeanette was always my go-to name. Oh, it's nice. You've got a great middle name. Dominique. Uh, Dominique? Is that really beautiful? your middle name? Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. Yes. Dominique. Q-U-E. Dominique. Q -U -E. Dominique. <laughs> it's amazing what That's you find. That's a fashion but, label. But, but it is. Christian yeah. Dominique. That's, That's right. a fashion label. Isn't it good? You guys. To the Tonys. To the, to the tonies. El Tabla Ronde Las <laughs> Tees. To the Tonys. To Congratulations, nominees. To Congratulations. Ching, ching. Congratulations. Ching, ching. Congratulations. Um, it's going to be turned. Mm. Good, first nomination for you. Yes. It's my first How nomination. How has that felt? It, it feels incredible. It's absolutely awesome. I'm, you know, I like that you're asking because you all have been nominated before, and I'm the baby of the group. I'm also the mascot for falsettos, which I <laughs> really enjoy. Um, so thank you for letting me join in oh on your gosh, sweet scary. group of love and fun. No, it feels good. It really like does. We're invading your space right now. Right. Not in this any is way. Fabulous part I, thank yeah. you. Yeah. My Holy goodness, shit. you guys. It feels incredible. You know, the coolest part about it is is this is being uh, recognized by. Like the friends, my friends, the community was like, I see you, I've seen you your, your whole career and you're doing a good job. That feels like the best part of it. How many nominations were you looking at for you? No, no, this is just two. Just two? Yeah. That's a lot. Well, that feels nice, right? That's right. a lot. Yeah. Yes. Right. But well, people will come up for... Edwin Drood. Oof. But people have uh, like short-term memory and they'll be like, oh, Pirate Queen. I'll go, oh, yeah. yeah. But you yeah. also. Yeah. You got it. And also, great boy from Oz, you should have been nominated for that as well, oh, yes. don't you think? How no, can I, I mean, say we don't? We all think so. Say. I'll we say all it. think you should so. Have been nominated. Oh, for Absolutely. Pete's sake. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> How did this ridiculous so. story he's referring to yes. is we were making the album of the boy from Oz. Yeah. And the ensemble came in, they sang their thing, and on stage they would be like, Liza, Liza, and I'd respond, that's me, and they'd go, whoo, and I'd go, hey, and there was an interaction. <laughs> We're recording the album, I come in, and I do my thing, whoo, hey, terrific, that's me. They did not put any of the other people underneath on the album. So it's just you? Just going crazy and like spewing off all these ridiculous things Woo. in dead air. That yeah. makes me so Woo! Good. Hey! That's me! <laughs> Nobody's referred to me on the album. That's really funny. Sure. When we listened yes. to that on Spotify before Falsettos one night, I feel like that's when we had our best show. Really? You inspired us all. Yeah. Well, did we, also, did we all try to get it in. To pull in, that's me. <laughs> During yeah. the show? I think I tried yes. to get it in at the end of... <laughs> feel, feel all right for the rest of your life. Feel all right for the rest of your life. That's me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, would, so we would sometimes just dare each other to sneak things in. Yes, you know. I do know. We have serious games at your show. Well, we, did, we tried once to play Shank Saturday. Where you oh, shiv yeah, where someone, you shiv yeah. someone, right? And then the rule, only rule is, is if you get shivved, you have to react. Um, but I thought it would be in crossovers in the back of the stage, like subtle. Yeah. Someone was talking, and my friend Q comes behind me and shakes me like six times. You know what I mean? And I was like, the planes aren't going anywhere. <laughs> like it was crazy. And then people started coming up to me, like I was the game master, and saying, "I'm out. I can't do it anymore." I said, like, "I can't do it anymore either. I'm out." I already had to do it. This is awful. The yeah. This. But it's all, it's good to <laughs> demystify <laughs> the the process. Like we are nominees, yes. but we are also human yes. beings. And it was not every right. day. And I. I would imagine that you are in a similar situation at your show where because the the subject matter is rather heavy, that like you do look for ways to sort of like lighten it. You know, yeah, have absolutely. some laughs when you yes, can. Because absolutely. we all sort of knew that by the end of the night we were all gonna be sobbing. So yeah. if we could work in a little levity at the top. Your show is so much funnier than I was expecting it was going to be. It is it's it a, is rather the, funny. The script itself is very funny. I think you so all too. are hilarious people. How have you been celebrating this month of being nominated? Because that's a long month. It is a long month. You're obviously doing it in style. Well, thank you so much. Broadway style. Um, nicely done. Um, Dilo de la Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's been awesome. It's been incredible. Like, you got to take each thing as it comes. Yeah, and that's like, exactly This is lovely. Right. And then I get to see all of these fantastic uh -huh. faces. And so that feels fun. Do you know what you're wearing to the Tonys? I do. To the Tonties? To the Tonties. To the Tonties. I already know what you're wearing, but I just thought it was a fun question to ask. It is a fun question. Can Does everybody wear? know what they're wearing? <laughs> you do. We, we yes, know you do. Yes, I just found out yesterday. Yeah. I'm getting fitted today. So. Oh. By whom? Brunello Cuccinelli. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. They dressed me the first time. And it was like butter. Isn't that a nice yeah. thing to be able to say? Dress me the they dressed me the first time. Because this is your <laughs> second nomination. This is my second first nomination. One was for American but again, Paris. people, they forget. They're like, this is your Broadway debut, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. And how many nominations? Do this you have? is my second nomination. The first was for the Book of Mormon. It's fun. And it's nice. The second time around, I was very lucky that first time that my co stars from the Book of Mormon were nominated. And mm. this is like, again, like yeah. such a treat to get I to do this with, with the, gag with the, the with cast. The mm -hmm. How is it for you doing the show oh, and yeah. being nominated? Because that can be exhausting. It's, it's incredible. It's not. It's awesome. Oh, great. Yeah, the show feels awesome. The energy of the theater is very chill. There's very no, good. like, oh, the Tonys and the. We're all just having a blast and loving each other. I celebrate every day. Yeah. I'm walking in that stage door, I say thank you three times. <gasps> and what about you? Yeah, Celebrating dear. another role while performing another leading also, role. Oh, that's fine. And this is what? That's fourth fun. nomination? Fourth Fifth. nomination. Fourth, yeah. That's fourth fun. nomination. This is, it makes it easier that we are all together. And also, I know I'm not going to win, but that's incredibly <laughs> liberating. <laughs> No, it's great. That. I know. It's so fantastic. So it's so nice to go to the party, put on a nice suit, and be around your friends, and then just be like, I can't wait. It's good. It's all right. Yeah, I love it. Dapper and gracious. Mm -hmm. oh. No, For it's sure. true. Listen. Yes. It's so true. So nice. we're going to talk a little bit about our shows. Yes. And um, do we find any similarities between Come From Away and Falsettos? And if we do, what are they? People like to mess up our titles a lot. Right. We were falsetto, falsetto, falsetto. land. Mm -hmm. you, they, what do they call your show? Oh, it's it's come fly away, yep. come away, come away with me. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. I love come on, come on. Oh, amazing. Oh, really this good. Is amazing. Shows yes. with two really crazy deep meanings right. and just That's can't funny. remember those titles. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, uh, the unexpected family aspect, I mm -hmm. suppose, right? That's a big theme in both of our shows. About That's people very who true. come together and yeah. who are not all from the same walks of life, who then end up having to bond and form a um, community and a family in sort of an unexpected right. time. Right, you're exactly right. Also, I think how tragedy brings out the best in people mm. yeah. when people are tested. True. That's smart, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. 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 Or does, people, yeah, does, yeah. does not bring out the best in people. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So interesting, though, because during 9-11, when this story was happening in Gander, why didn't we hear about the best of people during that time and right. how everybody was embracing each other right. and lifting each other up? Like, that story got lost completely. Yeah, yeah, and we were desperate happened. for that sort yeah. of news during exactly that time. Right. Yeah, I was but surprised. Didn't New York, were, you here in, were you here in New York City when that yeah. happened? I came months after. I mean, New Jersey. There was an energy that happened for a little while, maybe a, a few months, where there was a, a shift and people yeah. were being incredibly kind to each other yes. and gracious mm -hmm. and patient and checking you know, on like strangers right. checking mm -hmm. on yeah. 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 Sure they were people. okay. And, and that must bring up a lot your audiences must this for people who were here or who weren't in New York still have you know memories of that day. So I imagine your show backstage you must hear a lot of stories. We do. And what's folks. cool is that people are saying now they have a new memory of that day, that's right? This is what you were speaking to. That's like, great. now we have this other thing that actually happened. We're not making it up. This happened, an event that that uh, can help, like, serve as a guide So they can remember us. the day yes. in a more positive exactly way. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. And it's a reminder that, like, you can be kind at all times, not just in the wake of tragedy. Right. Uh, that it's a practice, that we can do this. We can actually do it every single day. And uh, it changes things. Yeah. It really does. Love comes out of crisis. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, falsettos too. Definitely. Yeah, so during right. the AIDS crisis, it meant one thing 25 years ago, and then our story hit the stage again. And I do think there is something about telling these stories live with an audience that mm -hmm. has this sort of collective energy mm -hmm. and is sharing. I certainly felt it like um, during this political climate. I mean, when we were telling our story, how the lines would change or take on a different layer yeah. depending mm. on what was happening in the news. Yes. Um, and we would hear audible gasps or laughter or depending, literally depending on what would happen in the headlines that morning mm. or mm -hmm. the night before. Yeah. Where was your show during the election? You were out of town? We were in Toronto. 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 Yes. You were and I, country. you know, I just imagined uh, and believed that 
the song that I sing uh, about the female pilot was going to be this anthem to women because sure. I thought Hillary's definitely going to yeah. win. Sure. And so when it didn't go that way, it's changed into something else. It's changed how I sing it. It's yeah. changed how they hear it. It's, it's You're doing it in Spanish now? And now I'm doing it in Spanish, which yeah. makes so much sense. Yeah. Except to people who don't understand Spanish. Yes. Tabla oh. ronda. Well, <laughs> No, but I do, I also, I mean, I feel like our, I mean, both of our shows are about these collective traumas that people went through that I think ended up forcing people to put up walls and, and insulate a little bit mm. and step away from it. And now that enough time has passed between 9-11 and the AIDS crisis and it's processed, these shows have reopened those wounds to let them really feel things that maybe they didn't let themselves feel right. in the moment that they happened. Mm, right. For healing. Um, yeah. For healing. Yes. I, was it, I can't remember if it was Daryl Roth or Paula Vogel said that theater wounds the memory so that we remember. Mm. And it feels like both of our shows reopened some wounds so that they could remember in, like you said, a, a, a more positive light. Come on out, Paula. Tell us what you think. What did you think? Oh. <laughs> Where is she? Let's get this quote straight, shall we? I think that's what it was. New right? Dramatist Lunch. New Dramatist Lunch. New Dramatist Lunch. Dramatist lunch. Dramatist lunch. And, like, not to be too Pollyanna, but isn't that the reason we got into theater? I yeah, mean, no. I know it's because we wanted to make out with people and yeah, be yeah. silly and, and, and be a part, right? Right? Part. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that's why this nomination, oh. these nominations feel that much more special this time around. Because of the material? Because it's just, it's, it's all part of something that we so believe in wholeheartedly yes. and with our entire being. Makes me yeah, it's not it's always, you don't always, you're not always in a show where you can say, no. like, I really, this changes the way that I... Right. And the ghosts agree. Yes, yeah. it's true. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. That was, that was, yeah. The spirits are with the us. The spirits, the verbiage is just so, like... <laughs> because we've talked about there are a bad. lot of special shows, <laughs> yeah. but these are important. Yeah, The word important shows. comes to mind, yeah. yeah. It's so and so important. rare that we get to do that. Especially yeah. grateful, right? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. And then be recognized for that. Yes. Yeah. That's extraordinarily rare. Because yeah. we all got into this for that reason. For the to recognition. Do the recognition. For the recognition. Yeah. The awards. For the awards. I got into like it for I... the plaque. Yeah. No. Plaque. No, for the for doing a show that this wasn't safe. says something and that, that's important. It changes us. It's true. And you can feel the audience reacting and changing yeah. and connecting with one another. It feels like uh, this beautiful communion, right? Did you yeah. know that right away? First day of rehearsal, you're reading the script, you're like, Oh, this is special. We this were is all important. Crying. Yeah. We crying. We, and we've had a run through in each city, and we all we cry at different moments. It's, and now that we're falling in love with each other, you know, different moments in the show will hit us in different ways. But every single time we had a read through, something else would hit us individually and collectively, and we would just kind of lose it. What was it like doing the show in Gander? Extraordinary. What was that like? The, well, first of all, we're not overdoing it. Like, these people are for real, and they are open-hearted and kind and present. And, you know, there was a moment, there's a moment in the show in the opening when we sing I'm an Islander. Mm -hmm. um, we're setting up that you're on the rock and you're in Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. And the first time we sang that lyric, 2,500 people on their feet <gasps> clapping, oh. crying because wow. of the pride that mm -hmm. they had. And I, I think of it every time I sing that lyric. We all do. What I can't not thing. think of it. They were extraordinary. And then literally, I was walking down the street looking for a a grocery store, and a man pulls up in a car, and he's like, what you looking for? Where are you going to? And I was like, oh, I'm just, I think the grocery store is right down the, the street. I'm good. And he was like, well, jump in. That's no problem. And I had zero qualms about jumping oh, into yeah. a strange man's car. And we got to the parking lot of the grocery store, sat there for half an hour. He told me a story. Like, it was... Well, see, that's how they get you. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to hear their stories, <laughs> slapped by a fish, and then whatever. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. I just wanted something to do this. Oh my god. What do we have here? What are we looking at? This is, this is a chicken liver terrine, uh, pate style, floated with a little duck fat. Uh -huh. uh, we have mustard and a blackberry conserva on side of it, so with some grilled toast. Mm -hmm. This is a Valencia cheese. It's an ash-washed goat's milk cheese with some saffron honey and toast. Saffron, saffron honey. honey? Thank you very much. If you You're insist, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Well, first of all, our new nickname is Saffron Honey. Saffron. <gasps> that's the name. Yeah, that's, that's the name. The name. Saffron, saffron Honey. Saffron honey. Can you put a little bit, a little dabble on that? Saffron yeah. Honey. Yeah, of Saffron please. Honey. <laughs> and I feel like I've known you my whole life. Saffron I feel honey. like well, you two, who are seemingly the closest, also met the most recently. Most recently. We did. 
Yeah, in the audition. In the audition, the final, final audition. callback. And it was love at what first sight, wasn't it? Kind of. Kind of. You immediately trusted each other. Yes. It was. I felt a little old, I'll be honest, you know? I've got a did little... you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But That's you looked you so young back. and fresh. Oh, thanks, honey. You um, did. But we had to see how this was going to work. Because you we are did. my junior. A little bit. But not so like life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, it did. Right. <laughs> <Right. laughs> and the cougar in me came out, and that was it. No, but it, honestly, we just played, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We did Making a Home, and mm -hmm. I've never felt so comfortable with mm -hmm. another person. Yeah. I was... We played, we put down the thing, we started pulling chairs and sitting down. We started pulling chairs and, and, and yes. making a home. home. Yes. In the rehearsal room, Wait, that's and that was amazing. it. I shoved, I shoved some, um... What? Uh, <laughs> I shoved some stuff into... Um, yeah. <laughs> no, on the on the table, the dais, where mm, all of the people right. said oh, there was a... I have a rule that you have to drink every time someone says dais. Oh, oh. I like this rule. Well, oh, that's your That's drink. all right, cha-ching. I can play this game for dais. Right? <laughs> there was a box of tissues and, like, some granola bars. Yeah. And I shoved them into the, in the granola bars, into the thing to make a bouquet. Yeah. And you're like, to the left. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Right, you're really like, funny. to the left. You guys really were playing. We were playing. Yeah. Oh. That's funny. So were people in the room, or just mm. the two of you? <laughs> and then they brought him in. And then and then James came in and said, let's begin. <laughs> All right. So oh, let's crap. Oh, I'm gonna Should we ask Paula what she wants? Paula. 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 Wow. I feel like we could all split. Wow. Yeah, you're right. How's the saffron? Yeah, we're good. We're beyond all right. Thank you. Right, so thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Just this fries. This is incredible. How is the wow. saffron honey? Is it yummy? It's really good. God damn it, Brandon. But doesn't can't this take remind you? Anywhere. Doesn't this remind you of rehearsal? Where yeah. we would eat Eating. every dinner break, every lunch would you, break. Where would you go? Where would we go? The Smith. The Smith. The Smith. Smith. The Smith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We went to the Smith. <laughs> there was also that sweet little <laughs> restaurant that was just attached to Lincoln Center. The rehearsal yeah. space. Oh, the Indy? Yeah, Indy, Indy. Wine. And then once we moved to La Masseria. La Masseria. Oh, La Masseria. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. the sea guy. Yes. And what did I never order? No seafood. What's the sea guy? You can't, why don't you like seafood? This is what I like. Really? I don't like seafood because um, they all live in their own toilet. Mm -hmm. They eat each other. They hump each other. There's still eggs in them or poop or whatever when they serve it. And they're like, enjoy. Uh, so this is why I like it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> You can't do that. You can't be like you, eat you, poop in you. You and two have like, known each other for a long time. These yes. two. We have. We have. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just. Back we around. knew each other, friends of friends. That's right. And then we were sitting at Five Napkin Burger during the summer. We I was did, doing some day drinking. We did that, uh, we did the take flight reading. And that's when we like bonded. Like, we had to like, so, this is so hot. <laughs> It's harder than you think. It's really hard. <laughs> it's now try whistling. <laughs> <laughs> that was more humming and blowing, but it was good. That works too. <laughs> humming and blowing, the seven AJ Block story. Nothing if not glamorous. Black Keep going, Five Napkin. I'm listening. No, we we like connected there. I remember. Sitting. I was going through a life moment, and I remember right. we spoke, and you were incredibly non-judgmental. Mm -hmm. And positive. That doesn't sound What's like happened me. to that? I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Right? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute. Well, Must have been having a good day. Uh, uh, oh, no, uh, and then, right, I we were, I was at Five Napkin Burger with my buddy, and you came up and you're like, we need to hang out. We keep saying we're going to hang out. And I was like, cool. And you said, can I lock you down? Which I thought was such a like sexy, sexy. lovely, can I lock you down? I was like, totally, let's do it Thursday. We went to and Vintage. Then, May she rest in peace. Oh. Oh. You shut up with a little fedora, a red tank top, and a skirt. We had Look nachos. And then you. you said you want to come back to my place and smoke a joint and make out a little bit. And I was like, yep. And you did? Yep. She initiated. Well, I just realized halfway through that you were on a date. I thought we were just hanging oh, out. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't name names. How's that going? No, on a date with each other. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like a friend yeah. date. That happens. But oh. I was thinking of it as, as friends. You were? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, but wasn't it Samantha who said, you're like, like, I just you out on a date? He did, yeah, right. When you left the table, it was like, you just got asked on a, on a date. And I was like, no, no, no. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. But then I wore the little skirt just in case. It worked. It's, and we had a very work. uncomplicated relationship for a while, and now we're best friends. That's right. Incredible. Oh, oh, that's, that's so lucky. lovely. So that's lucky. always how mine end, too. So uncomplicated, <laughs> I'm always best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Like What's your every secret? Every relationship ends so well. What's your <laughs> secret? I don't, know. I don't know what goes wrong. See, yeah, what is it about you? 
How did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? Socially for a little bit, and yes. then we did a concert together. A radio, um, no. Carnegie Hall. At Carnegie Hall. <laughs> oh. With the New York Pops. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But I had known Stephanie's husband, Sebastian, mm. since like mm. 2002. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think we met. But yeah, we just sort of knew of each other, mm -hmm. and then we got to do this concert together. No biggie. Just singing at Carnegie Hall. Carnegie what Hall? Is, I've never heard just of it. Just doing it. It's an American it was very musical exciting. song book. Was that your, the first time you stepped on stage at Carnegie Hall? I had done one of those galas. Those As did I. Galas. Yeah, so never... you sing one tune, you knock it out, and then your it. adrenaline dips. But yeah. we had the, the whole, whole night evening. to ourselves. Where is Carnegie Hall? Rochester? <laughs> it's Schenectady. It's the Finger Lakes. I've never been. The Finger Lakes. The Finger Lakes. Yeah. And then did you know, like, was it one of those things where you I dug had this right evening away. to get, right, and yeah. you're like, I dig you, I see yep. you, I, we're going to be buddies. Hands yep. touch, <laughs> yeah. eyes oh, meet. Go, get in there. Okay. Yeah, you can go. Do you want what's, part of this what's burger, happening Stephanie? there? I, um, it's something like fried onions. Again, uh -huh. I have a lot of rules Caramelized to food. Yep. And so she's pretty red. She's red like, for her. Yeah. Oh, it's real is that right? Red. And what's yeah, the yeah. soup on top? Yeah. Yeah. Whose dick is in the microwave? Oh my goodness. Is that what we're playing already? <laughs> right. I love that game. You guys, Dance. round it out. We didn't play Never Have I Ever. Dance. 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 Yes, cool down. Every time I'm anyway, going to change the subject. Let's get back to whose dick is in the microwave. Deus, stop oh. it. Stop it. Put that drink in your mouth and stop talking. Oh, now we're saying Deus to just shut people up. That's correct. Yep. That's my peanut butter. Whenever we're at home and we're speaking to each other and Vivian hears perhaps a bad word or something, we just say peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And they say, they, the books and whatever, that the child hangs on to peanut butter. Because you say it so many times. She does that. repeat peanut butter when you that say it, That is correct, and she forgets everything And she doesn't say, say the fuck or the shit. Right, right, right. right. So right. I say something that I didn't miss <laughs> Just say whatever and then say peanut butter. Okay. But last peanut night, butter. I heard Sebastian say fuck, and then she peanut said butter. peanut butter. That's, that's correct. Adorable. Wait, that's awesome. But I think that's it was good. just hilarious that she was like, she recognizes she the word. That's not a good word. Peanut, peanut butter. That's awesome. But it works. It's working. It works. wonderful. Can we can we talk about yep. like last night you guys had a slumber party at Stephanie's house? We That's did. Correct. That's extraordinary. It was magical. It was. That's amazing. There weren't enough bunny onesies. I was no. expecting a bunny onesie. I thought and there, there would be a bunny onesie. Yeah, I, I stopped the whole process of the Amazon bunny onesie when we weren't we scheduled the thing, then yeah, it got it canceled, in. then you mm. said put a stop to the onesies. Yeah. This one, this one? And then we yeah. rescheduled. Mm -hmm. But we did, and I couldn't get caftans for all of us either. Yeah. Yeah. But there were facials. I'm asking your plugs. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, here's how and, and books. lovely notes. Cards. Our beds. Cards. As we went off to bed Stephanie. from Stephanie. Very sweet. Isn't she sweet dreams? Yeah. She, she really, really wonderful truly is. Us. You really are. You are so thoughtful and generous and loving. You are. Thank and you're you. beloved, not just among this group of people, in the whole community. You're That's an extraordinary true. leader. You really are. That's true. She's right. Peanut I just think the world of you. <laughs> Can we play the game? Mm. What's the What's game? The game? Whose dick is in the microwave? <laughs> Dance. 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 But I mean, well, I'm no, it's the game where the, you get the where Andrew gives you a line and you have to. All right, yeah. Let's uh, we get, have to say it like a soap opera star. Okay, right. let's do it. Um, we played a game at the the slumber party last yep, night. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. It's the button of a soap opera. Mm -hmm. Like the act out. The, like the, the yeah, act out. Yeah, okay. yeah, the tag, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. And that lingers over long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I see. Mm -hmm. Where there might be like a little bit of a zoom out or a zoom in. Go. And then go cut to pop okay. Some music kicks in. What's the line? Give it to Jen. Okay, the line is, well, candidly, <laughs> we Candy. found Dante on the tracks. It didn't end well. <laughs> well, candidly, we found Dante on the tracks. It didn't end well. Oh, oh villainous. I was not yeah. excited. I know. I was not expecting that. Like was that. I. It's really fun to see the interpretation. The, yes, to yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, give us a different read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really get into it. Yeah. Well, Canley, we found Dante on the track, so it didn't end well. Yeah. No, that's good whistle. stuff. Yeah, was that good? That's good stuff. Did you get a close up? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you really you. got to push I want it really yeah. tight. Right. You really got to push it. Right. Hey, oh. Listen, <laughs> Dance. 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 This is broken. <laughs> Open another bottle.
Thank you. Yeah. I yeah, saw a lot of ready. points going on, and we were all thinking <laughs> You're right. the same. You're exactly and then, right. Would you like to do the honors again? <laughs> now, do you have a show later? No. I do. Oh, you, <laughs> okay, so Kurt, I'll give it it's all not to... like I'm flying a plane. Right, okay. right. You're gonna land that sucker. A lot of people perform on Broadway drunk. Stop <laughs> saying such things. It's true. Is that what you would Some tell your younger self? Oh, yeah. and Andrew. Oh, and little Andy. Sweet little five-year-old Andy. Andy. You can still drink. Wait, that is a good question. What, what, as as a Tony nominee, what would you tell your oh, younger gosh. kid self? <sighs> oh God, yes. Sorry. No. Brandon. Why would you? Oh. <laughs> I'm out. You guys so know. present. Thank you. Um, what I tell my... Yeah, what would you tell your kid self? It's interesting, because truly, as uh, ridiculous as this sounds, I have a picture of myself in my dressing room as a little person. Yes. And whenever I get too critical of myself, I look in the mirror and say, would you say that to oh, no. Stephanie Wait, at three or four? Sweet. And it stops me in my tracks. That's really sweet. It's a good, it's a good tool when you I get too critical, that. which is so easy to do in this... You know, so business. what would you say, like when you first started to feel like, oh, I want to do this and I feel like I can do this, what kind of advice would you give to your younger self now? It's so interesting because, uh, gosh, what would I tell my little self? That you're going to play all these different people, but by doing that, you're going to find more of who you are. Mm. Does that make sense? That's yeah. sweet, yeah. By stepping out of your own skin, you're going to find more of who you are. That's yeah. really sweet. And she needed that. Yes. Stephanie yeah. needed that. What That's about awesome. you, Christian? Wow. I would say, um, be patient and keep your eyes on your own paper. Yeah. Okay, you know, as a young person, you make some jealousy mistakes. Yes. 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 Envy mistakes. Yes. Stay in your lane. Like, and it's easier in lane. hindsight, you know, That's like being on this side and feeling like moderately secure in this crazy business. It's easier to look back and be like, just your time will come. Yeah. But you have to have faith that your time will come. And yeah. don't be hungry and don't begrudge anybody else their success. Correct. It'll drive you mad. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Listen, what, what would, would I tell my kids? Yeah, kid what would you tell your kid self? All this time you think you're gay, but then you're going to sit at a round table with Jen Colella in a dress like that. Oh, and, and you're, you're feeling some tangles? Everything. Wow. How dare you? Yeah. And Shoulders. How dare you? That took a twist. Do you feel the same way? <laughs> <laughs> Not to and take away from your feelings. Yes. No, I know, I Dance. know, but... Dance. Just uh, keep drinking, Block. There is something to be said about comparing the pace at which you reach success against others, um, which then forces you to, in some ways, emulate others. Mm -hmm. right. And that right. was the biggest trap I found myself in, in, oh. in high school, in my early 20s, just refusing to be myself, mm. and my work suffered because of it. And then at some point, I was able to be comfortable in my own skin, bringing me to mm. whatever that character was, made it more authentic and truthful and honest and better um, and happier. Absolutely. Be you. That's do what you. I would say, too. Do you. Is, do you. Like, trust that you are enough, yeah. right? That whole thing. Trust yeah. it. Don't try to be someone else. Yeah. What and you've if you're got a gay man, on... don't meet Jen Colella. <laughs> Stress this what about you? What would you say? Um, the patience thing is like the biggest yeah. thing because I think that my all of our careers sort of have gone and sort of we've taken some strange detours mean. along the way, <laughs> and I certainly I think that in time, particularly in this season, when people are reading your bio and they sort of clean it up a little bit and right. they say like, and then she did this show, and right. then she did this show, and then she did this show, and there are months that get left out, years sometimes right. that you're like that part is important too mm -hmm. because that was the part that I was like flailing around and not sure mm. if this was going to end the way I wanted it to end. But I think particularly for young people, when they read a bio or they hear a story about like, and then I was in the show, and then I was in the show, and it all worked up, it all worked out with a little bow. Like, it's a lot of downtime. Right, yes. So and we're in that frame exactly. of mind, right? Like, yes. Instagram is always the pretty yes. picture yes. and the perfect day and the perfect yeah, yeah. outfit. And you're like, messy, no. messy, 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 yes. messy. I captured one second, and that's what we and put out it. in the world. Mm. That's very similar to the resume thing. Yeah. There's so okay. many... You missed yeah. my performance as Natasha on the Rocky and Bullwinkle show? Yeah. How did you miss that? What about my turn as Chris and Miss Saigon in the Finger Lakes? Oh, Jeez. Yes. You were good. Oh, my God. Right? Right. Stunning. Finger Lakes makes uh, me uncomfortable. Yeah, Finger I liked Lakes. it. Finger Lakes. I was into yeah. it. Dais. Dais. <laughs> no, it is. It was, it was that. It was, it, was, uh, it was echoing what you said. It's that, that you're enough. I was, um, there were so many people whom I deeply respected and admired, and I thought, well, I'll be like her. I'll, be sing like her and I'll try to emulate this and it wasn't working and I could tell that I had 
something special, but I didn't know how to trust what that was mm -hmm. until I was like, I remember looking at myself in the mirror. I've never said this out loud. When I was like nine years old, I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I saw my hair was a mess and my teeth were crazy, um, but I saw something beautiful in my face, in my eyes. And I was like, you're not the regular beautiful, but you are beautiful. I, I had that feeling of like, there's something in you that you can trust. But we all have that, right? Sure, we all have sure. That. It's the well, light inside of us. That is beautiful. What I love about actors generally is that we have mm. such compassion for other people, but I do find that we we lack that for yes. ourselves. Just the voice inside of you, Just gentle. being compassionate yeah. with gentle. ourselves. Right? I have to train myself. If I knock something over, instead of being like, idiot, I'll be like, it's OK. You're, you're not an wow. idiot. You just knocked wow. something over. That's not a problem. I know it's then the you're same winning. thing. You Steph are winning. Stephanie, right? I'm sorry. I ruined your runner today because yeah, I spilled did. coffee all over it. I, I saw that. Idiot. We're going to shout that out. <laughs> but again, I, I did. I, I knocked it over, and I was like, yeah. God damn. Yeah. I don't do that in real life, mm -hmm. but I do have almost a consistent moment almost every day on the job mm -hmm. with my Entertainment Weekly, mm -hmm. where this is good I stuff. toss it on the ledge, mm -hmm. and it very rarely stays on the ledge and it falls on the floor. And every time, I'm alone, obviously, and I go, idiot! <laughs> don't do it. As a matter of fact, when it But it's the it only hits, time I allow it. It's like, it I know it's going to fall on the floor, but when and you do it. The moments when you do nail it, be like, boom, got Small it. Small victory. Rock Small star. victory. You're right. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. right. I know you're right. Yeah. <laughs> When you're right, you're, you're right. right. When you're I right, would you're say, right. uh, beyond, going beyond the conversations with our uh, young selves, talking to students, kids today who want to be in this business, pay attention to people like you who are constantly paying attention to other people and constantly on time, constantly mm. working hard, constantly kind and mm. gracious and generous. Because talent, in the end, is worthless. Everyone's talented. We're all talented here. That's right. Yes. We'll get to this. So pay attention that's to the good people. Say, and that's, that's, that's the good stuff. That's, that's, that's the real stuff. Right, that's yeah. sweet. That's Very sweet. Dais. Dais. <laughs>